what will an individual learn when acquiring a CWS certification? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, one of the things that we do when we design our certifications, we always try to come up with these great little acronyms, right? And there are companies that already have acronyms. They might be in similar spaces. And so we've got to pick one that works and that can be legally defensible. And so there's a lot that goes into picking the name of a certification. We try to get really creative, but sometimes they still need explanation because certified wireless specialist, it doesn't answer a lot of questions all by itself. So it's good that we're going through not only this one, but the other certifications to explain what really is the information, the knowledge that you're acquiring there. With CWS, Here's the way I like to define it to make it really simple and easy for everybody. It's like mastering the language of wireless. And so what you're doing is you're understanding what all the terms mean. And, and by terms and what they mean, I don't just mean like a Webster's Dictionary definition. I mean a really good understanding of what these different terms mean. So for example, when you learn about the term decibel in CWS, you don't just get a definition. A decibel is a relative measurement of signal strength between two signals. Now, you get more than that. You get explanations and examples and even visual representations to help you understand what a decibel is and therefore how it's used in wireless communications. So you learn that terminology in such a way that you can understand well what people who might even be experts are talking about when they communicate with you related to wireless. And this is so important for this person that the CWS is designed for, because this is designed for either someone who's just starting the journey in wireless and they want to master the terminology before they go forward, or maybe they're working in sales and they need to understand when a technical engineer in a company asks them a question, what in the world are they asking me? Um, or a manager in a company says, we want this wireless network to have sufficient capacity. Uh-oh, what does a wireless person mean when they say sufficient capacity? So that salesperson needs to understand that. And then the other person is that manager I just talked about. You know, a lot of times IT managers are not technical professionals, not fully. They probably are more technical than a lot of others, but their primary skill is management. And so they know how to manage a group, a department, or an entire company, and yet they need to be able to speak their needs to people that are wireless experts. So they need to understand that language, or if they're involved in meetings, they need to understand it. And of course, the same is true for project managers. Now, those are just a few examples of some people that can benefit from it. Those that are just starting out in their wireless knowledge journey, and they want to master the language before they go further. Those that work in sales, those that are managers, and anyone, including project managers, that has to communicate with people and understand this language of Wi-Fi. So it's a really great foundational beginning point for anybody getting started in the wireless space.